second fan motor out of one of the ceiling mounted cassette units and the bearings that went bad in it makes a pretty bad noise when it's running so I'm going to replace the bearings in it and show what an easy job it can be first I got to take these three screws out take the three screws out and move the plate the spindle comes out and then you'll see the bearings okay I got the three little screws out pop off the cap here one of the bearings sits in here Okay, the bearing on this Don't forget to keep the wavy washer in the bottom See how hot that got? It's starting to heat up pretty bad because of the drag Ah, here it is. Listen, you can hear the... Now I'm going to replace both of them, but here's the bad one. Sounds like a roller skate. Okay, I'm going to turn off the camera and I'm going to get these off of here. Now I've got a bearing puller set up. I'm going to tighten that up and it'll get that bearing off. It's not got a lot of space to it, a lot of surface area. It's going to, I think this is pretty free right here. Once it pops out of this little spot, it'll be easy to take off. You don't want to mess this end up at all. And you don't want to hit it with a hammer or anything like that. If you've got something you can put over here, like a bushing or something that extends past it, you probably put that in an open area and then tap it out or like a small arbor press and press it out. You still want to boot rip the end right here. So let me get that pulled out. It took just like a little twist and then the thing come loose. Should come out. Yeah, it's like that. And it is a 6002Z bearing. And I have an NTN bearing right here to replace it. That's the Granger number. These things, this whole set cost under $30, so I'm, I'm actually rebuilding a motor for under $30. So that's why I do this, and I've done this about seven motors I had go bad on me. And I haven't had to pull out a rebuilt one yet, so they will last just as long as a factory. So let me get this other one off and get the other ones on. All right, got the bearings pressed on. There's your red washer on the front end. You got the wavy washer on the back end. Go ahead and slide that back in. And get it seated in the proper area. So. in there. Wavy washer is in there. Goes together like that. The bolt and there's a keeper for the nut. And it goes in there. You got three of those. Let's get that all back together. All right, got back together, ready to fight another day. So that's how you rebuild a Daikin motor for a ceiling mounted cassette. And anytime you go to replace a bearing, like the old ones are shielded, both sides. And I got the size, the 6002Z off of there. 
but you're also going to need the outside diameter. So if you look on this, the millimeters in black. So you want to measure the OD, which is 32 centimeters. You want to measure the ID. which is 15 and you want to measure the width which is 90 then we get on Granger's website you take those numbers and they will transpose to the proper 6002 bearing. Now if you look at the 5U494 bearing, okay the numbers, I said centimeters, it's millimeters. There's the numbers we had. 15 ID, 32 OD, 9 millimeter width. Just match up those numbers in the bearing type which is a shielded radio ball bearing. And you ought to be able to replace the bearing pretty much in anything if it is not made to where they don't want you to repair it. Uh, their condenser fan motors are made such a way they've got soldered on boards and uh, bearings are special made. These bearings are pretty generic and they will last just as long as the factory.